In this video, we're going to be calculating the absolute maximum and absolute minimum of this function f of x equals x to the fourth minus 32x squared plus 3 on this interval from negative 3 to positive 9. So an important thing is absolute, right? This big keyword is telling us we want the very highest point in this entire interval and the very lowest point in this entire interval. So to do this, what we want to do is first calculate the first derivative. So the derivative of f is going to be using the power rule. We'll bring the 4 down in front, reduce the exponent by 1, um, bring the 32 along, and then take the derivative of x squared. So we'll bring the 2 down, reduce the exponent by 1. So that'll be x to the first power. And then the derivative of a constant, the 3, is just going to be 0. So we can leave that off. A little bit of simplifying down here. We want to do 32 times 2 makes 64 x's. And now to get the critical values or critical numbers, what we want to do is figure out when does either the derivative equal zero or when would it be undefined? So since this is a polynomial for our first derivative, it's not going to be undefined anywhere. But let's go ahead and set it equal to zero and solve down, figure out when does it equal zero. So in doing this, I think we can do a little bit of factoring to get us started. We have a common factor of four and x. So that'll leave us with x squared minus 16 inside our set of parentheses. And then we can factor a little bit further. We have a difference of squares inside the set of parentheses. So we can say four x times x plus four times x minus four. So in looking at our factored version here, you would say that if you plugged in a zero for that first x, it's going to make that factor equal zero, and therefore everything else equals zero. If we plugged in a negative four in that second factor, same idea. It's going to make that factor equal zero and then the rest of it, and positive four for our last one. <clears throat> now you may notice that they specified an interval that we were looking at from negative three to positive nine. Um, negative four does not fit into that specified interval so that's not going to work for being a maximum or minimum um, because the interval really matters on these. Now we could take the second derivative um, and use the second derivative test to see if we're going to have maximums or minimums at zero and four, but we really don't need to do that. Instead, what we can do is we're going to plug in to the original function with zero, with four, but also it's very important, and this is where most students overlook it, those endpoints for our intervals. So negative three and positive nine. So each one of these gets plugged back into our original function. So it's going to look like zero to the fourth power minus 32 times zero squared plus three is going to be three. When we plug in four, very similar, right? We've plugged into functions going back to the original um, four to the fourth power minus 32 times four squared plus three. Um, is going to equal negative 253. I'll leave the order of operations up to you. You can do that. Negative 3, same idea. This time we get negative 204. And positive 9, 9 to the fourth power, minus 32 times 9 squared, plus 3. I got 3,972. All right, sorry, very edge of the screen here. All right, so what we wanna to do to finish this up and actually identify the absolute maximum, absolute minimum is just compare these numbers, okay? The very biggest number, that 3,972, that's the absolute maximum. Just the biggest number. Um, Finding the very smallest number, it's going to be the most negative. So we say the absolute minimum is going to be at uh, is going to be negative 253. All right. Just to be clear about the terminology here, the absolute minimum is negative 253. It occurs at an x value of four. Um, same th same idea with the absolute maximum. The absolute maximum is 3,972. It occurs at nine. All right, so we may have relative or local maximums at zero and also at the other endpoint at negative three, but they're not going to be the absolute maximum or minimums.
All right. Hope this helps. Good luck to you on it.